Now, before you leave your bedroom in the morning, make sure you close all the windows and shades to keep the room as dark as possible. It prevents any sun or hot air getting in and increasing the temperature of the room. Once the sun is set, try opening two windows that are on opposite sides of the room. This will create cross-ventilation. Air will come in through one window and exit out the other to create a nice cooling breeze. If there's only one window in your room, you can mimic this system by placing a fan opposite the open window. The fan will blow back out the air that enters through the window. This might sound strange, but it'll help to get rid of the warm indoor air while allowing the new, cooler air inside. Try to avoid any heat-generating appliances throughout the day. The heat that these devices give off will only make the air in your room even warmer. If you use a hairdryer, try it on a cooler setting. Instead of using a warm oven to roast your dinner, have a no-cook summer salad instead. This even applies to your electronics. Running computers, TVs, and your charging phone all generate heat. Turning off these appliances before bed will keep your air temperature cooler for longer. Of course, you'll know to swap out your heavier winter comforter for a lighter summer one. But choosing your bedding based on fabric can make all the difference. Sheets and blankets made from synthetic materials like polyester manage to trap heat. This can make your bed feel even warmer than it actually is. Heavier natural fibers, such as flannel or wool, won't keep you cool either. Seek out bedding made from breathable materials like cotton or linen. These lighter natural fibers feel much cooler on your skin. As it gets closer to bedtime, your body's core temperature naturally starts to dip to help you get to sleep. You can aid this natural cooling process by taking a lukewarm shower before you go to bed. Your body temperature will initially rise in the shower, but once you exit, your body will start to cool down fast. However, make sure the shower isn't too hot, or the steam it'll give off will increase the temperature in your room. If you head to sleep with damp hair, the extra moisture on your scalp will help you feel even cooler. But don't use this trick too often, as sleeping with a wet scalp on a regular basis may cause hair damage and extra tangling. Tell me about it. While a cool fan will initially help to drop the temperature in your room, They recycle the same air over and over again, so it soon loses its cooling effect. If you place a bowl of ice water in front of the fan, it will instantly cool down the air the fan blows, giving you cool air far into the night. The most common place that humans release sweat is their forehead and face. So, to stay cool, it's important to keep these areas cool. Try freezing a small washcloth for an hour before bed. Place it on your forehead to use as a cold compress before you go to sleep. If you don't want to go to extremes, you may skip the freezing step and just place a cool, soaking wet compress. Lower quality mattresses can be heat traps. They tend to use a poorer quality of foam that restricts airflow, meaning that your body heat gets trapped at the surface of the mattress where you sleep. Higher quality mattresses use innovative tools like gel-infused mattresses or plant-based foams to help absorb your body heat and help you stay cool while you sleep. Even if your blankets are really thin, but you keep layering them, the air will get trapped in between the layers keeping you warmer. So for summer nights, opt for only one comforter. Hot air rises, so to avoid the heat, Try and set your bed up as close to the ground as possible. If you live in a multi-floor house, instead of sleeping in an upper story, try to sleep on the ground floor or even a cool basement. If your home is only one floor, try hauling your mattress off the bed frame and place it on the floor. In order to fall asleep in the sweltering heat of the Egyptian sun, the native folk devised a peculiar method. Wet a blanket or sheet that is large enough to cover your body with some cold water. Wring it out or leave it to dry until it isn't dripping wet but still damp. Place a dry towel on top of your mattress to save it from getting wet, and then use the damp sheet as your blanket. The damp blanket will keep you cool throughout the night. Regular exercising helps to improve the overall quality of your sleep. But if you exercise too late in the evening, your core temperature will be at a higher level, making it more difficult to cool down before bedtime. 
If you sleep alone, you have plenty of space to spread out. Stretch out your arms and legs and head to sleep in a spread eagle position. This will allow the air to circulate around your body, reducing your body temperature. Heavy meals full of fats and carbs take a lot of energy for your body to break down. They can cause what people call meat sweats. Spicy meals also tend to make people sweat. Swap big meals for smaller, lighter portions, like fish, salads, and fruits. Certain foods like popcorn and dark chocolate contain nutrients that help you sleep. Try to avoid eating at least 2-3 to three hours before bed for optimal cool potential. Dehydration causes your body temperature to rise. Your body doesn't have enough fluid to sweat and regulate your core temperature. Make sure to drink a glass of water before bed and keep one handy on your bedside table to stay hydrated throughout the night. Stick your sheets into a plastic bag and then place them in the freezer for 2-3 to three minutes before bed. This won't keep you cool all night, but will give you some instant relief from the heat and humidity when you settle into bed. If freezing your full sheet sounds a bit too intense, why not try and do it with your socks? Wearing cold socks to bed increases the blood flow around the body, which helps lower your core temperature. Hot water bottles aren't just handy for winter. Stick them in the freezer, and then you can have an ice pack that won't leak all over your bed. While a big fluffy pillow is great to lay your head on after a long, hard day, they don't do much for keeping you cool. The head is one of the warmest parts of your body, and surrounding it in pillow fluff can stop the heat from escaping. Swap out your fluffy pillows for a lighter version in order to keep a cool head. If you need to cool down quickly, applying ice or cold compresses to pulse points, where our blood vessels are closer to the skin than other points, will lower your body temperature fast. These pulse points are at your wrists, neck, elbows, ankles, and behind your ears. Just like your bed sheets, it's important to make sure that your PJs are made from a lightweight material. If you're trying to stay cool, wearing less is better. Loose cotton shorts or underwear should do the trick. Some people argue that PJs actually keep you cooler than sleeping en natural, as the fabric soaks sweat off the body. Now, if you're brave enough, why not try and fashion a DIY hammock in your bedroom? Because hammocks are suspended on all sides, they have increased airflow. It'll feel like sleeping in a cool breeze. By hanging a wet sheet up in front of an open window, you can cool down an entire room. The air blowing in will be cooled by the wet sheet and quickly lower the room's temperature. Drinking coffee dehydrates you and elevates cortisol levels, making it difficult to get comfortable enough to fall asleep no matter what the weather is like. Instead of a large macchiato before bed, try a warm cup of herbal tea or a glass of milk, which both help with falling asleep.